And our next session uh, will be a hands-on session on uh, flow simulation. Our team member, uh, Mr. Abushan, is there. He will take the session. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, that was a nice session from Professor Manasudha. So we not only we learn the theory, we also learn how to implement it in open form. Now let's uh, do a hands-on session where we uh, simulate a laminar flow through a pipe. So I'm going to provide the link uh, of our spoken tutorial for that. And I'm testing it in the chat box. So we are using the same case that we did yesterday, the pipe, uh, if you remember at the very end, we created a 3D pipe geometry. So you have to go to the same directory and then follow this tutorial. And you can download the files code files that is required for this tutorial by clicking on the code files in the same website. So you can start your tutorial. Sir, uh, I, in my cavity file, uh, pipe is not, folder pipe is not the same. Uh, the, folder, the folder pipe was uh, created yesterday when you were doing the last hands-on tutorial. So if you last have, time, yeah. So if you, last have, time this, uh, yeah, so if you have not done that, no, no problem. Uh, I will just provide the, uh, the files in my drive. You can download it from there and then copy it to your WSL directory, okay? Okay, sir. So I provided a new link that contains a pipe folder in case you don't have that, everyone. Uh, sir, uh, after entering the command for mutation, uh, this CD form run, that thing is a directory and- That, sorry? Dash. Sir, I'll share this screen. Okay, you can share it. After entering this command, it's showing you these things. Okay, why are you putting dollar in, in front of CD? Okay, so I think you don't need to do that. That dollar is uh, just part of the CMD. Yeah. Yes. Now it goes right. Okay. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, sir, I have uh, I have empty transport properties file. You have empty transport properties file. Oh, yeah, there is nothing yeah. in the file. So that means uh, either you have typed the spelling mistake, so you just created a new transport properties for your file. Just take okay. uh, uh, you can close that file and open a new one. Just make sure that the spelling are right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello. Yes. Yeah, there's no such file or directory. But you can move folder directory. Yeah. You're in pipe and can you do ls? Yes. So you you have to go inside cavity. What you can do is uh you can call MB and change the name of cavity to the pipe and then use that. Can you do that? Yes, sir. MB cavity space pipe. Hi, Bushan. I am Joseph here. Actually, what is the, in control right now? Uh, purge right, what is that? What is that doing? Uh, sorry? That purge in control right file on. After write interval, purge write is there, no? Yeah. You're giving it as so code, that it? is uh, in case you want to save space. So what happens is when you do control date and you, it will generate files for each time steps, right? So yeah. let's say your DT is one second, then it will generate zero, one, two, three until your final time step, let's say hundred. So say you want to save space and you have uh, make purge write one or two. So what it does is First, it will create a file one, then two. Now, when creating the file three, it will create the file three, but it will remove erase the file one. So okay. there will be always only two uh, time step file. Oh, okay. It always it will keep mm -hmm. only two. Let all yeah. files it keep on deleting. Yeah, it's, it keeps on de deleting the previous time step file. But if you want to disable it, you have to keep it zero. So okay. if it is zero, zero, it is switched off. Okay. okay. Suppose if you keep 10, it will keep only 10 time steps. Yeah. Latest. Yeah. 10. Yes. Okay. 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 Thank you. Welcome. Hello, sir. Yes, Calvin. Hello. 
Yeah, so I'm uh, again. I'll check the spellings. Uh, again, I'm getting the empty. Okay, you can save the screen. Okay, one minute. Oh, uh, is it visible? Yeah, it is visible. You can close this thing. Yeah. So you are in your pipe directory, and yeah. can can you do ls constant ls space constant? Uh, so I think uh, you are using a different version of open form. Yeah, open form 10. Yeah. So in open form 10, uh, the transport properties has been renamed to physical properties. Okay. So you have to do get it constant space physical properties. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, who is this? Uh, I'm mother of uh, in the transportation properties file. Uh, Nothing number uh, values are not there in the note file. Is there any problem? Yes. Uh, wait, you can present the screen after this. Uh, this is the file, right? Yes, yes, Calvin. This is the file. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, sir. Welcome. Okay, Madhava, you can present your screen. Yeah, I'm able to. Yeah, there is the. Uh, it is there. One e minus zero six. It's just that uh, the dimension is not given. It's okay. Oh, oh okay. Thank. Yeah, welcome. Hello, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, 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 if I want to run the simulation steady state mode, which solver, which solver to use? No, open. So, if you want to solve the steady state, you can use simple form. Simple form, and yeah. we have to change the FB scheme or. Yeah, you, you have to change FB schemes and FB solution for that. Okay. So instead of like manually changing it, you can copy one of the case from simple form tutorial. And then just replace the block mix and your uh, U file and P file, and then you can carry out the simulator. Okay. Uh, or we have to, uh, if you want to save the uh, mesh file, is there any way? Uh, sorry, I didn't get the, your question. If I uh, run the command block mesh, it's uh, where this uh, mesh is saved. Oh, where it, it is saved. Okay. So in your constant, after meshing, you will find an another folder inside the constant called polymesh. Okay. Which is where the information of all those mesh is said. So you can, you can look that, at it. You can that go. That mesh yeah. you can use for another case if you want to. Use. Yeah. Okay. You can uh, you can use that mesh for another case, but instead of copying the constant file, what we do is we just copy the block mesh file and then do a new mess that way okay. you don't have to copy all those files okay thank you okay so people who have completed the tutorial can they raise their hand um vision this um block mesh we need to copy from yesterday's pipe pipe file yes yes okay uh, hi yes Yes. I'm getting an input output error like I just copy the u file but it's saying uh there's an uh, input output error can you show the error? Present your screen. Uh, oh, once again. So in your U file, I think you missed something. Yeah, I just checked, but there is nothing missed here. See, you. So can you? See. Yeah. This is my U file. There is an internal field that is missing in your U file. So what you can do is type internal. Field. I just copied it from. Yeah, the... yeah. You copy it, but while copying, I think you uh, copied on. I overwrote those that uh, in internal field line. Okay, where so is it? That would be just before the boundary field. Okay. Yeah. Here you can type internal field, like space enter and then one with capital F. Then tab. This tab. tab. Yeah. Tab. Yes. Tab. One more tab. Okay. And then uniform. And then space bracket. Then three zeros, just like how it is done in value here. Yeah. And then close the bracket and a semicolon. Now save it. Now see if it works or not. Yeah. Yeah, welcome. So people who have completed the tutorial can raise their hand. I'm only seeing few hand raises. I think Siddhi Vinayak wants to share his screen and uh, see okay. his problem. So Siddhi Vinayak, uh, I see that you have uh, finished the tutorial, but you are not able to view the result. 
So you can follow the procedure that I mentioned yesterday. That is first you could you have to do dot space result dot form. Are you getting it, Sidhivanath? Oh, your mic is it not working? Never mind. I'll show you. Uh, show you to show to you how to do it. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, Sidhi Vinayak, uh, you are able to use Paraform as well. I think mm -hmm. uh, Sidhi Vinayak, uh, you need to copy the block miss, uh, the block miss file into your block miss. So I think you missed that step. So that's why you are getting the square cavity. So what yes, you can sir. do is you can copy the files that was provided to you in the drive. If you go to chat, scroll up, you will find a drive link. From here, you can copy the block miss file and do the block miss again. Okay. Yes. Hello, sir. Uh, who is this? Uh, sir, this is mother. Yes, mother. Uh, sir, it is showing cannot find file points in directory. Volume is. Can you share my screen? Yes. Uh, hi, I'm Jason. Actually, we need to run block miss and echo form, right? Yes, you're right. Okay. So can you see my screen? Uh, yes, mother. Uh, here, uh, it is saying cannot find the file points in there. So I think you have not done block mesh. So you need to do, you need to do block mesh. So uh, we are a bit late actually. So I'm gonna just show you guys how to do it. Just follow me. I'm gonna present my screen. So, so this is the pipe uh, that case that was done yesterday. So it, if, if you do LF system, it has the block mesh dict uh, file that was used to make 3D pipe geometry yesterday. In case you don't have this file, I have shared a link of drive. Uh, I will share it again in, in the chat box. You can just uh, use that. Now, I have already downloaded the required files, uh, which are these files. So what I'm going to do is, so all I have to do is just copy the pressure and velocity and then control dipped. So I'm going to do ls and I'm going to rename my 0.org folder to, uh, to 0. And as you can see, the folder is rena renamed. and I'm going to go to go inside my zero. Here you can find U and P, U for velocity, P for pressure. So I'll open my U. And here I'm going to copy paste this line. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm just taking it copy. I'm going to save it. Again, I'm going to copy the pressure. I pasted the P file as well. Now, now I'm going to move back to my case. So from zero, I move back to pipe using cd space dot dot command. So 
So I'm not going to copy paste that here. I'm going to save it. So I'm going to do block base, then I go home. Uh, I've got an error that says ring file you and it cannot find password in it. So let me see what is the issue. Inlet, outlet. Uh, sir, two boundary yeah. failed. Yeah, two times boundary there failed, are... sir. Okay, two times boundary failed. Yeah. Okay, it ran. Uh, current number is maximum. I think I made mistake while copying the file. Uh. It's okay. I'm just gonna download it again here. So my simulation is stopping at 0 0.08 time. Yeah. So let me just uh, this, this file only we have we have used actually. Yeah. But there is no covering number things. It's okay, it's a pipe symmetry. Now go home. Uh it just means that somewhere I may have uh, given a very high velocity. Did you guys get the same error? Yeah, yeah, I also got the same error. Okay, so it just means that uh, you have given a very high velocity. Uh, so what I will do is I'll just lower the value of velocity. Or uh, do we need to change the, the value of in yeah yeah so in sir, property, sir, can we uh, refine the mess uh, in this case yeah you can refine the mess uh, just a minute I think I forgot one step so here you have to uh, change this to one e minus six right. Okay, yeah, this is the step I forgot. Now I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna run ICO form again. Okay, this time it worked. So let it run for a while. Sir, in open form, in every time step, we are getting some error, like continuity error. 
is it uh, warning or some kind of error does it say warning so you must do get a continuity error but its value must be very low right sir in this simulation also uh, we are yeah. able to see time step continuity error so, so how to uh, yeah. get rid of this kind of error so th since this is an uh, approximate solution you'll get some continuity error i'm going to be talking about that in the next uh, session so it's just that that value needs to be very low as you can see it's in the order of 10 to the power minus 10 right minus 6 10 to the power minus 10 or 10 to the power minus 2 minus 6 and 5 yes yeah. so it's just that it is there but it is very low so if it is very low then it is fine It's okay. Uh, we can view the maze uh, even while uh, this thing is running. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to run and CD pipe and so I'm going to click on apply. So this is my pipe geometry. And if I do surface with uh, edges, you can see the geometry, right? And I don't want to see the geometry. I want to see my results. So let the simulation complete. Okay, it has completed. Uh, I'm going to close it. And I'm going to do touch result dot home. And open it. I'm going to click on apply and then we view the zero, uh, sorry, velocity. So, in order to view the velocity, so what we have to do is we have to slice it so, or clip it. I'm going to clip it so you can see the velocity profile when I clip it. And I'm going to go to the final time step. This is the pressure profile. And this is the velocity profile. So it is a parabolic profile. So to see whether the profile is parabolic or not, you can use plot over line. Someone was asking this question in the chat, how to actually view it. So when I click on Y, and if I click on apply, it will show me the profile. So this is the U profile. And as you can see, it is parabolic. So uh, if you have any question, just type on the chat, uh, Pinayak will answer those questions since we are running out of time uh, so let's get on with the next session sir i could not complete this simulation you have sent the uh, drive file and i am using that drive file but uh, i could not complete the it is showing some error in terminal uh, so it's okay uh, you can say that even in the chat box uh, binayak will try to uh, uh, remove your issues, but meanwhile, we have to go with another tutorial since we are running out of time. So you focus in for the next session. And if you have doubt, you can also send that either as a mail to us. We'll try to clear it. Okay. 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 So the next, uh, this hands-on session is going to be on residual and convergence and how we can control the residuals in open form. So whenever you run the any uh, solver like simple form, ICO form uh, that you will do, you'll get some bunch of log, right? So in that log, you'll see some residuals, initial and final residuals. Let's see what are they and how what what uh, what does it tells us. So residual is actually the measure of imbalance of conserved variables. So whenever you are doing the simulation, you are solving some conservation equation that could be momentum conservation or mass conservation or just temperature, energy conservation, that could be anything. So uh, during the first lecture, you got general idea of what is CFD. So in CFD, you divide your domain into a bunch of control volume. And this is one of that control volume. So in control volume, you get some flux in and you get some flux out. So this is these are those in and out. And on top of that, if something is being generated, let's say if there is a heat source, if there is a momentum source, then something is also being generated and the gen is that generation. In reality, the whatever is going out must be equal to the whatever is 
coming in and one whatever is being generated and if you subtract out minus in minus z you should get a zero but numerically when you do a numerical solution or you, when you do sim simulation those are uh, approximate solution so you will never get a value that is equal to zero you will always have something that is remaining and that remaining thing is called residual now the measure of uh, residual is important to judge how numerically accurate is our solution which is why we need to monitor the residual and this residual will never be zero it will be lower value and lower the better uh, so what value is the what lower value is the better value generally 10 to the power minus 6 is the value that we uh, go with it so if the residual is at in the order of 10 to the power minus 6 we considered it good enough so yeah so how if you were to plot that residual initial and final residual it will behave in this manner this is the initial residual and this is the final residual so what is happening here on the right side you are seeing uh, a general uh, algorithm to solve a general transient problem so initially you initialize u b p or phi phi means any other uh, parameter it could be temperature it could be or scalar parameter or anything so now so initially you initialize u b p so in the boundary condition file inside u and p there was internal field in one of the line if you remember and that is our initial condition so initially all the variables in our domain will be initialized to that value i think you remember it was internal field space uniform zero 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 if it was uh, velocity and if it was pressure, there would be only one zero because pressure is a scholar. Here, what we are doing is before starting the simulation, we are initializing all the variables to zero. So that's what we are doing. So when they put this equation, uh, this value in its internal field value in the, our equation, you'll get some thing that is remaining, like some uh, value that is remaining that value will come as a initial residual okay and now you will enter to a, another loop that actually solves your solution in that time step and while doing that it will go through a series of iteration this yellow thing that you are seeing is that series of iteration and it will finally end that may end depending on the maximum number of iteration or some residual value that you have provided in your app solution file in open form and when it ends we will come to a final residual now it will move to the next time step so we are here right now so it will move to, a, to the next time step and here it will start again so it will come from here 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 and it will, it will move to the next next time step then it will start so final residual is the residual that is obtained at the final uh, iteration of your internal loop and we have another loop outside of the internal loop it is called time loop which marches, marches you through the time and here at the beginning of that uh, the time step you you'll get another uh, residual and that is called initial residual so this is how this thing behaves and now so this is how the initial uh, residual behaves and sometimes it will go to a lower value 10 to the power minus 6 or 10 to the power minus 4 but it always doesn't happen uh, whenever it reaches some value or convergence criteria we say that the convergence is as if so we also need to monitor some quantity of our simulation it could be coefficient of drag coefficient of lift or some force and when you monitor it in case the residual wind goes down like this to some lower value our monitor value will stabilize with the time and then we say that the convergence is achieved however in some cases in few cases uh, one example would be an example of uh, flow past a circular cylinder so whenever air is flowing past a circular cylinder behind the wake we have series of vortices because of which we never have a steady state solution so in such case we will our residual will never reach a lower value so when we monitor our quantity that is a coefficient of drag or coefficient of leap we will get a periodic 
solution. So it would be something like this. Initially, it will move up or down. And then after some time, you will get a this periodic solution that's that behaves periodic. And when we get this periodic solution, we say that since this problem doesn't have a steady state solution, we'll end our solution here. And this is our solution. So what we learn from here, low residuals do not indicate a correct solution. And similarly, higher residuals do not mean a wrong solution. Even though your residuals are high, you need to monitor your quantity. Your uh, the quantity is coefficient of flip or drag or any other quantity that you would like to monitor or your your point of uh, interest. Okay, now how is this uh, parameter control in OpenFOAM? So inside OpenFOAM in system file, you'll see FB solution, and inside FB solution, you'll see something like this. So this is for pressure. Similar to similar for pressure, you will have one for uh, velocity, and if you are solving uh, turbulence, then you have you will have one for k, epsilon, and so on. So here the first one is the solver, the solver that is being utilized to solve the discretized equation. And if that solver uses a smoother, then you provide the smoother here. Now, these three are the parameters that controls the residual. This tolerance one e minus seven. It is the value for the final residual. So whenever that inner loop iteration reaches a final residual value that is less than this, we'll move, we'll close that iteration and we'll move on to the next time step. And similarly, relative tolerance, it is the ratio of current to the initial residual. And we have max iteration. That is the maximum number of iteration that can be done inside the internal uh, loop. So if any of these three values are satisfied, we'll move on to the next time step. That is what uh, this is saying. And if you want to control the final residual, that is when your actual simulation, whole simulation will end, you'll use something called residual control and you'll give a value. Here I'm giving one E minus six. So whenever the initial residual is below this value, our simulation will uh, end and it will say that your solution has converged. And here the dot star, it is just a regular expression. It means any value. You can either provide uh, velocity, pressure, or other parameters that you have. But here I'm just giving it dot star, meaning all the parameters. Now let's see how to implement this in OpenFOAM. So uh, I'm going to use uh, VirtualBox. You can use WSL as well. So uh, I'm going to copy one of the tutorials from open from directory. So whenever I'm copying, I actually never type the whole command. See, I'm doing dollar form underscore to you. Now, if I press tab, it will automatically complete my command for me. Okay. So now I'm going to do space and I'm going to type in. Now, when I press tab, so it is already going to complete it for me. If it doesn't complete it for you, that means somewhere you have made a mistake, your typo mistake while writing the command. Now I'm going to go to pimple form and inside people form in the RES, in the RES, I'm going to type uh, pitch delete. And I'm going to copy this to my current directory uh, or to my run directory, which is from run. So when I press enter, that file has been copied to my dollar form run. But now I'm not at dollar form run, I'm at my home. So I'm going to cop go to my uh, run directory by doing this command. And when I do ls, you can see that the pitch daily is there. So it has been copied successfully. I hope everyone is with me uh, at this point. Now I'm going to go inside the pitch daily. So this is my uh, pitch daily case. It has zero constant and system. I'm going to do block base here. And it has ran. Let's see what's the piece daily case is about. I'm going to do paraform. Uh, you can view the miss similarly. 
just like how we did yesterday, create tools result.com and it will create a, you can view the result.com using pair view. So yeah, this is the page daily domain. So here we have inlet over here and our outlet is here and we have a backward facing step. So this is just a backward facing step. This is our geometry. Now that is clear. I'm going to get a file called residuals that will help me to monitor my residuals. Now to do that, I'm going to use form get command. You can get any files that you require in your case using this form get command. Let me see. Let me show you how it is done. First, I'll clear my screen. So F O A M and G E T. Now space. Now I'm, I'm going to type any files that I require. Right now I require residual file. Okay, residuals. Now if I press enter, it, it is saying that it has found two file that has name residuals. One is residuals, another is residuals.cfg. But I only need the first one. I don't need the second one. And it is even suggesting me that choose option one. So I'm going to press one here and I'm going to press enter. So it is saying that it is copying that file from certain directory that is inside the open form seven to my system. So if I do LS system, you can see that that file is already there. Okay. Now let's see what is inside that file. So I'm going to use get it. You can use notepad.exe if you are using, if you are following me in uh, WSL system residuals, I'm going to press enter. So this is my residuals file. As you can see here, I have as include DC. It is just including some file from post processing. And in this field, I am providing the parameters whose residual I want to monitor. In case you are using open form nine, eight, uh, here, there will be a text saying provide those, uh, internal field files here. You just have to remove it and, uh, put it like this field space bracket P space U and bracket. You just have to write it like that. Now I don't need to save it. It is already saved it, but I'm going to save it anyway. So I'm going to close it. So now that I uh, have a residual file, I also need to include it in my uh, control dict. So I'm going to type con get it system control dict. And I'm going to enlarge this. So in my control dict, I'll go to the very bottom and I'm going to write functions. And here, I'm going to give a bracket and here I'm going to include this line has include funk and then the file that I, that I have in my system that is digitals. I'm going to save it. Now if I, I can finally run my uh, solver, but before that I'm going to check the FP solution again. So I'm going to type get it system and FP capital S solution. So it has opened the FP solution file for me. So this is the file that I was, I was talking about, uh, the line P, P final, this is for the final iteration. Uh, in final iteration, we don't provide relative tolerances to some value. We have to give it to zero. This will, we have, uh, set it to zero here. And dollar $P means it will just copy whatever we have given here to this place. Okay. Now I'm going to give it uh, one more line here. Max. I what, what is difference in P and P final? So P final is the, so in the final iteration, what we do is we don't want to give any relative tolerances. So P final is just the, this value, but it is for the final, final iteration. And what we are doing here is the dollar P means whatever is here, it will just copy it over here. It, it is it is a placeholder. So whatever okay. parameters that we have given here, it will just copy here. And we are again setting the relative tolerations to zero. Okay. 
So I'm going to give it uh, some value, let's say 10. I hope, uh, let me just check max eater 10, yeah. Okay, now at the very bottom inside my pimple dictionary, I'm going to add this line. So let me make this clear. Here in residual control, you provide the value of initial residual on which you want your simulation to end. Okay, so I can do it like this. For you, I can give a value of let's say 10, 1 into 10 to the power minus 6. And for P, I want I can give some value. And then I would have to write for epsilon and for K and for all those. But I don't want to do that. I want to give only value, one value for all the parameters that I'm solving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this thing called the regular expression. So dot star means any any variable all the variable so you you may have an all of the above option when choosing the mcq right so it is similar to that so it is saying all the parameters that i have okay and i'm going to give a value minus six for now okay we'll later change this and see what changes that we get so i'm going to save this thing uh let me just take if everything is correct residual control yeah now I'm going to close this thing. I will clear my screen and I will start my simulation. To start my simulation, I will write pimple form because I'm using pimple form solver now. So it is solving. So while it is solving, let me open a new tab in my terminal. So while it is solving, if I do ls, it has created a new file for me, post processing, right? So I can go to the, I, I can inside this post processing, let's see what is there. So I have residuals and inside the post processing and residuals, I have zero. And inside that zero, I have residual dot dot dat. So this is a dat file where all my residuals in each uh, time step is being stored. Now to view this, I'm going to use a command home monitor. I'm going to clear my screen. So home, M-O-N-I-T-O-R. I'm going to trace any space and dash L. This dash L indicates that I want to, I want my axis to be logarithmic scale. Okay. Since the residuals are a very uh, less value, it's in the order of 10 to the power minus six, minus three. So I will like to use log scale in order to view it. Now I'm gonna type post processing and then residuals. Here we have only one file after other file. So if I just press tab, it will complete the command for me. So just I'm just pressing tab, I'm not typing anything. And finally we get to residuals the tab. <coughs> Then I'm going to press enter. So these are the value of residuals. As you can see, the value is decreasing and our solution is still going on. It hasn't converged yet. Uh, the final time step that I have provided is 0 0.3. So this simulation will run until 0 0.3, even though the residual is value is very high. We can see the value of Velocity is 10 to the power minus, uh, the residual value for velocity is 10 to the power minus 4, uh, 10 to the power minus 6. But for pressure, it is still high. 10 to, it is uh, above 10 to the power minus 3. Sometimes is it, it is coming this up This is and down. initial residual or final yeah. residual? This is initial residual. Okay. We are doing initial residual right now. Now, can you show can you show control dict file where you have defined that function? Okay, I'll show that. Don't worry. So our simulation has completed, and even after the simulation has completed, you can see the it has not it, it has not given any uh, text saying that your solution has converged because in the con residual control thing, 
we have set the value of 10 to the power minus 6, but our pressure value is still high. Now let's force it to converge just to see like what happens when you converge it, okay? Okay, I'm gonna close this uh, form and I'm gonna show you the control dict where I added that uh, functions, function object. So this is how you add the function object, functions, bracket has include punk residuals. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, yeah. So now I'm gonna go back to my sixth system and at the solution. Here, now instead, I'm gonna change uh, Can you please show it again? I'm sorry. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna show it again. Here in pimple, I'm gonna change it back to 10 to the power minus three. Okay, just do it, do that for now. I'm gonna go back and show that control dict for you. I hope you you guys have followed up to here, right? So I'm gonna save it. You just have to change it to 10 to the power minus three now. And I'm gonna go back to system, control dict. Okay, this is how you add it. Add the function object. Here, there are different post-processing tools in open form. If you want to say, find out average of some patch, mean min, mean max value of some variable, say temperature, there are different tools available in open form. You can add it in similar man manner as in so this, uh, this you have place for the runtime calculation, right? In yes, the control yes. Yes, yes. Okay. okay, I hope this is clear. So, uh, should I close it now? Uh, excuse me. Uh, can you tell me what, what this functions do? I did not understand in the control. Did well, like what happens when you are putting it under functions in this early bracket? Okay, so this is called function object. And what it does is it will add the residuals file that I just copied into my system directory here and it will calculate the residuals for me. So when I do this, when I do this and then when I run my simulation, it will create this file post processing and inside this post processing file, it will create another file called residuals where my residuals are stored. Did you get it now? Yeah, yeah okay, now I understood, yeah. Okay. So now so this yeah. residuals that are stored, these are the final residuals. Like I got a little confused between. Yeah, this, this is the initial residuals. We are going to see final residuals at the very end. Uh, hold on to that. These are initial residuals, by the way, if you are having confusion. Because in the convert, in while checking the convergence of our stimulation, we only care about the initial residuals. We don't care about final residuals. Okay. Now let me remove all these uh, directories, uh, this result. Uh, because I want to run a new simulation to do that. I'm, I'm sorry, gonna... Avishan, uh, yeah. where should we give the maximum uh, tolerance so to value give... for residuals? Yeah. Like is it in the FP solution, right? Yeah, it's in the FP solution. You can just type get it or notepad.exe if you're using WSL and go to FP solution. Okay, under pimple. Yeah. And so... in your pimple, you just have to create this line. You might already have these two lines here. Question, can you give these two files, FE solution and this control deck? Sorry, you want me to? Uh, can you put it in the mes message at this text file? Okay, okay, text. You want me to copy paste this text, right? I copy paste it. Okay. But so, control deck and uh, we need to change this in control deck and FE solution, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay so thank I you. I pasted the one from control deck. I'm gonna do the same for the control dict as well. Yes, Drew, we can see a live plot of residual as well. Uh, I'm gonna show you. So the last time when we saw the residual, we saw it live only. It's just that I created a new tab, a new uh, middle and in that I eat the live residual. So so I hope everyone has copied those commands. Have they? 
could you repeat what is happening when you are putting that uh, uh, line in fe solution okay so when i put that line in fv solution mm -hmm. this is the value for my initial residual so when my simulations initial residual falls below this value it will say that my simulation has converged okay okay so uh, i'm going to be quick here i'm going to uh, use foam Uh, this time, okay. Foam clean tutorials. So this will uh, erase all those uh, uh, result from my case. I'm going to do block this again, and I'm going to start my simulation again. Pimple foam. So now, if I do the same command. here you can see the value of residual it is live actually it is being written in the post processing residual zero and residual dad dad and the foam monitor thing is showing me the residual live so let's see what is happening uh here and at the same time let's see the videos. so as you can see the residuals are falling uh please show that command for residual getting the live yeah a so, residual thing yeah this is the command for that i'm going to type this command in the chat uh anyway uh, we are running out of time uh so what happens is that when you do that create system f v solution when you do this uh when this when my residual which is less than the value of 10 to the power minus 3 my simulation will end and it will show that pimple foam has converged this is what happens uh, and how you control your uh, residual value So, if you guys have any uh, problem while following this tutorial, you will be provided with the videos uh, later on. You can just write to us. Uh, we have our next session that will be on uh, turbulence. So, I would like uh, Professor Raghavendra to start. Yes, thanks a lot, Abushan.